Well, all new tonight, it has been four days and many people in Louisiana are still without power, food or even shelter as the cleanup continues from Hurricane Ida. It was a big one. We've been following the devastation of this category four hurricane and what it's brought to the region. Six News anchor Jasmine Caldwell is live for us in studio tonight to explain how people from our community are doing their part to help our neighbors in need. Hi, Jasmine. Well, hey, Chris and Leslie, the category four storm knocked out power to almost all of southeast Louisiana and the return of power could take days at best and more than a month for those in harder hit areas. But there are those in our area with a big enough heart to drop everything to assist our neighbors across state lines. But what about taking the 445? Brandon Martin is the owner of several Crab Kings locations in Central Texas. He plans to expand his business in New Orleans. So when Hurricane Ida hit, Martin and his friend Jonathan Hildner knew they had to help. Being that that's going to be another community that we serve, we want to do our part for the community and help out where we where we fit in when we, once we got down there. The two took a boat and hit the water to canvas the areas to help as many people as they could. And uh, with us going down there and seeing how fast things changed for us, we kind of felt their pain. The pair was supposed to be down there for 48 hours, but with no ATMs, electricity, and with the severity of the storm, they could only stay for eight. Because we realized that there was no diesel or no fuel within 200 miles of New Orleans, and uh, we actually took a little bit of cash down there, and we ran out of the cash that we had, so we couldn't get any food. Many Central Texans have been sent to aid the people of Louisiana, including the Colleen Fire Department, as well as Waco and Hewitt, who are assisting fire stations, along with handing out food and water to the citizens of the community. Martin says the experience is one he will always remember, but has some advice for anyone who plans to make the trip. You got to go prepare. You got to go prepare with fuel, gas tanks, water, food. You got to go prepare because if not, you'll be you'll get stuck down there. Now, local churches are stepping in to help. Antioch Waco just sent their first wave of Hurricane Ida relief teams this morning. They will be teaming up with Antioch Baton Rouge to serve the community that has been devastated by the storm. Wow. Chris and Leslie. Wow, that's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jasmine. Well, they are really doing the work that is crucial to be rebuilding those communities that were just wrecked by Ida. And you can see from the video how much work needs to be done. And if you at home really want to chip in and help with any relief efforts, we made it easy for you to do so. We've joined forces with our sister station. So we're doing this all across Texas to raise money to our neighbors to the southeast. It's called Texas Cares Hurricane Ida Relief Fund. All the donations will go to the American Red Cross Ida relief efforts. You can make a donation at KCENTV.com slash donate or just text the word uh, donate to 254-859-5481. We send you the link. One stop shop. Real easy to do. Thanks ahead of time for doing so. Very nice of you.